Now then, today, today looks at diversity in its widest sense. We know that diversity is the glue that holds us all together, and that to a greater or lesser extent, diversity plays a key role in everybody's life. Everybody leads a diverse life. Ourselves, our families and friends, multiple races, ethnicities, LGBTQ, heterosexual, male, female, or agender, working class or middle class, disabled or not, or indeed not yet, because many of us will live with disability at some point in our life. These are huge conversations and they're huge global themes for us all to think about, and they affect everything that we do and everything that we are. If I may offer a personal view briefly, my 19-year-old son has PMLD and autism, and the number and range of arts activities available to him in organisations in this city where we trust his needs to be met compared to when he was younger is unrecognisable. A huge amount of progress has been made. When we held our first relaxed performance here at Nottingham Playhouse, it was a big deal. We were worried about it. We were anxious. And now it's a regular part of our programme, enjoyed as much by the performers as it is by audiences. The same is true for dementia-friendly performances, which are reasonably new to us, but they're really very effective. And we all do these things, and we need to talk about them and celebrate them. When our pay-what-you-can performances were introduced, targeted at people on very low incomes, we could all think of a hundred reasons why this wouldn't work. But of course, they did, and now they're full, and we couldn't imagine Nottingham Playhouse without them. We need to share our success stories. They give confidence, and they give a platform to the things that are being achieved, particularly when there is so much yet to do. Nottingham, those of you that know it will agree, is a brilliant city, great people, an amazing cultural offer, and a joined-up approach to everything from culture to education to transport. A lot of really interesting work is happening in this city under the radar. Artists, playwrights, musicians working at grassroots level and making their career in the arts. Our most successful drama ever, Touched, was written by Nottingham playwright Stephen Lowe about working-class Nottingham women in World War II. And as I speak, uh, a play by a working-class Nottingham woman, Beth Steele, about Nottingham miners called Wonderland is in rehearsal. But in certain wards of this city, the biggest challenge is poverty, the effects of poverty on ambition, literacy, and even health. We know that access to the arts has a massive, positive role to play in this scenario. We know that access to culture is fundamental to people's feelings of self-worth and is vital for communication and confidence. And in common with many other arts organisations, nationally, we run free youth theatres in areas of deprivation. But we could double the number and still have a waiting list. The impact of the work we're doing is unarguable, but perhaps sometimes the scale of the task feels daunting. A last thought, many of us in the room, uh, and also some of us online, I'm sure, are of an age where you could come from a low-income background, go to university, get your fees and your living costs fully met, and the total sum of your debt on graduation was really how much you'd spent on lager. And I was one of those young people. <laughs> and I never looked upon it at the time as a privilege. And I was also one of those who took advantage of the Enterprise Allowance Scheme to establish a small theatre company whilst a small weekly benefit and my rent was paid. The world is very different now. How does the arts encourage people who don't come from a financially comfortable background to take that step? How do we give them the confidence that this can lead to a really fulfilling career and ensure our workforces represent our community? So we're looking forward to a challenging, entertaining and thought-provoking day. Please do continue to ask questions on the app or live. Uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you.